Hello and welcome to Radio Oddity's YouTube channel. Today's video takes a look at the mysterious beacon of hate that transmitted during the early 2000s. Please don't forget to like, comment and share the videos and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more strange things found on the airwaves. In the summer of 2000, American ham radio operators in the Mojave Desert region detected a series of bizarre CW Morse code messages on the 30 meter band. The signal itself was very weak, so the operator was only using low power, and the messages repeated over several minutes. The contents of the messages are quite ominous and disturbing, even more so considering the 30 meter band is primarily used by the military. The contents of the messengers changed throughout the weeks and it became apparent that the sender was not a regular user of Morse code due to the spelling mistakes and rarely used characters such as apostrophes. All the messages were transmitted on 10.1064 MHz. The station can be traced back to December 1999 with the last known transmission occurring on Christmas Eve 2000 at 0051 UTC. Here are some of the known recorded messages. The US government ripped off the camels they can't put in God we trust on the money. My guess here is that the camels is referring to Arab countries, but I'm not sure how the US government ripped them off. US currency does however say in God we trust on it. But print the tracks, camels, and don't pay taxes, the US government are the mark of the beast. I have no idea what print the tracks means, but don't pay taxes is pretty obvious. The end of the message could be a reference to the US government's controversial operations in the Middle East, possibly. The mark of the beast in God we trust, Jesus Christ be cursed. I have no idea what this could mean, possibly just the thoughts of a person who is mentally ill. Kill all the pawn and religions off for real camels or kill. Even stranger messages transmitted this time. The person obviously has an issue with pawn, and despite earlier transmitting in God We Trust, they want to kill off the religions and also the camels, again possibly a reference to the Arab states. But just walk in Ephrat, the camels can't give you back. Give them all their money back and tell them all, F you, pay the full amount for wine and roses, 91 years of tracks and 15 years of chasing until they're all 42 PFUS. The messages start to lose sense here and become as strange as the person transmitting them. Ephrat is an Israeli settlement and the message talks about giving the camels their money back and to pay the full amount for wine and roses. Again, tracks are mentioned along with 91 years and 15 years of chasing. No idea what the 42 PFUS means. Take all the wives from the pawn and religions camels, you took mine for 15 years. More ramblings about pawn, camels and wives this time and another mention of 15 years. It looks like this person has serious issues. From here on in, the messages descend into utter nonsense and the person sending these seem to get more angry and the messages become more sinister with talk of killing and blowing things up. The transmissions last through to the end of the year and cease suddenly on Christmas Eve 2000 with no known transmissions heard by the beacon since. Its fate remains unknown. Whether the person was caught and possibly sectioned due to their deteriorated mental health or if the relevant radio authorities shut the station down is unclear. Perhaps the whole thing was just a prank, but given the frequency it was transmitted on and the mode with such a limited audience, this seems unlikely. Who would dedicate months of transmitting nonsensical messages to a small audience? The person in question has no idea anybody was even listening, which makes this all the more ominous. Today, the beacon remains silent, with no known transmissions since the back end of 2000. But it's possible it's still active on the 30 meter band from time to time, just that nobody has noticed this very weak signal on a rarely used frequency. What do you think the purpose of this beacon was? Was it just a prank, or something more sinister? What do you think became of the person transmitting these strange messages? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Radio Oddities. Hello and welcome.